Hi everyone and welcome back to Roots in Fertility. I'm Carly and today we're going to explore the routines specifically designed for your natural fertility. So whether you're trying to conceive or you're looking to balance your body and your mind, these practices can help in nurturing a beautiful environment for your best fertility. So yoga can play a crucial role in enhancing your fertility by reducing stress and improving blood flow to the reproductive organs and balancing your hormone. So let's delve into some of these key benefits. Yoga helps reduce cortisol levels, which is detrimental to your reproductive health. It also enhances circulation and blood flow to the pelvic area, which is nourishing to the reproductive organs and ensuring this function to be optimal. We will now move through a gentle yoga sequence aimed at producing relaxation and boosting your fertility. So the first pose that we're gonna start with is butterfly pose. Come on into your seat and you're just going to bring your feet together and allow the knees to fall apart. And here, now in Baddha Konasana, this pose is meant to open you up through the hips and increase blood flow to the pelvic area. Another one of my favorite poses is going into Supta Baddha Konasana. And this is where we're gonna take the same pose, feet together and knees apart, and lay down on our back. So why don't you choose what feels more restorative and helpful for you to get into the breath and relax. Next, we're gonna move into a supported bridge pose. And this helps in balancing the hormones and it helps to stimulate the thyroid. So we're gonna start on our back once again. And if you have a block, you can use that underneath your hips. But we're gonna lay together, our feet are together, hips shoulder width apart, lying on your back palms facing up, you're gonna push down through the heels of the exhale, send the hips up to the heaven. Think about opening up the space in the heart chakra and through the throat. And if you want, you can even take a bind here by wrapping the arms around your body. And then just settle into the breath. I like to make sure that I'm super active through the glutes here rather than the erectors extending or the lower back pressing the hips up. So here you're squeezing from the glutes, tucking that tailbone, sending the hips up. Then creating space in the heart, in the throat. And while you're here, I want you to imagine feeling, filling yourself up with your breath from the inside out. Feel the air as it comes into your body. Feel it move down into your diaphragm. Feel it move it down into your uterus. Imagine sending your ovaries love. Imagine sending your body, your being, your, your babies, your eggs, the love and support, breath, 
relaxation and calm. And then when you're ready, release the bind of your hands behind your back. If you were there, lower down one vertebrae at a time. And you can come up to a seat where we're going to go through the last exercise, which is our legs up the wall pose. And for the legs up the wall pose, it's simple. You need a wall. And the best way to get there, to get your butt close to the wall, is to first slide your hips all the way to the wall like I'm doing here. And then when you turn and lay onto your back, you can then send your legs up the wall much easier. And then here, you're just going to lie for five to ten minutes. This helps reduce stress. It helps switch the blood flow, so we're getting a little inversion, the blood from our feet back into the upper body. So stay here and breathe. Tap into your breath. Tap into the tool of visualization. Breathe down into your baby. Breathe down into your body. Sending it love and nourishment. Sending it calm, peace, and serenity. Bring yourself to that place in the world that taps you in to complete rest and relaxation. Pull in your senses here. What do you smell? What do you feel on your skin? Imagine taking a longer and deeper breath, filling you up from the inside out. Imagine slowing down the heartbeat even more. Feel the breath pull into your body. Feel it dropping down into your being, tracing that breath like you're mapping it throughout the body. And then use the exhale here. Release anything that's stuck. Something you don't want to carry anymore. Maybe it's energetically speaking, like you're carrying on some stress. You're carrying on guilt or shame. <sighs> Maybe it's something you can say to release. You can even try that with your next inhale. Inhale through your nose, feel the expansion. And on the exhale, making it audible. <sighs> Allowing it to flow away, whatever it is. Finding that power to use your voice. Maybe even trying the lion's breath where we take our tongue outside our mouth. <sighs> you purge from the back of your throat, making that noise. So if you've never done that before, try that lion's breath while you're here resting. If you feel that there's something that needs to purge from your body, try that out. Breathe in through your nose. Now with your tongue out, let it go. Anything that's stuck, that's in your body, that doesn't serve you anymore, release it, release it. Allow your body to move, release it. So you find yourself Enjoying this moment of stillness, of perfect peace, of contentment. And 
if your mind starts to wander, bring it back to your breath. Pay attention to how the air pulls into the body. Pay attention to how it feels when it exits the body. Bring the attention here, right now, to this breath, to this body, to your being, here and now. You can bring your legs down from off the wall. Come onto your side. Come up to a seat with me for a second. We're also going to dive into the breath work. Breathing, of course, it's practicing yoga often as it's like the main key staple. We're going to practice that now. So you can come to a seat with the palms facing up. You're just gonna start to notice the wave as you inhale and as you exhale. Feel the belly rise, feel the belly fall. Allow your gaze to set in one place, or you can even close your eyes. Relaxing the shoulders, relax through the hips. Relax through the jaw, allow the jaw to relax. Even if you need to touch it, like I am doing here, relaxing, releasing the jaw, creating this openness here in the jaw. And when we practice this releasing through the jaw, the yoni, the pelvis region, the sacral region of our energy centers are connected. So when we relax here, we can release and relax and breathe into our sacral region into the yoni. So practice some breaths like that with the jaw relaxed. Imagine breath through the yoni, this opening. Imagine like a flower, how it gently opens slowly throughout the day. Imagine that with your breath right now, sending the breath into the yoni, feeling this opening, feeling this safeness. Creating this place of calm and stillness, allowing, accepting, opening, renewing, healing, this revival fertility, imagine like fertile soil, the blossoming, the opening, the expansion here within you. Allow your jaw to relax and breathe through your yoni. so much for joining me through these exercises to increase your fertility. When we breathe, when we use the breath, we calm the body, we tap into that parasympathetic nervous system, the place where we can rest, digest, and create, create life. 
If you haven't already done so, and you want to be working with me closely in a supported community, I encourage you to type in in a separate tab, www.school.com slash roots and fertility. There you'll have access to abundance of information and community connection and resources to be a part of your journey along the way. I'm grateful for you joining. If you like this video, click that red subscribe button. It's free to do and it is easy for you. So click that red button and I will see you in the next video. Aloha.